Hey viewers, it's Monday, April 10th, 2017. It's time for, you guessed it, Bipolar Opposites. My name is Timothy Andrew Antonio Cubbin, and I'm going to take you into discussion about the news article Delta tries to normalize as flight cancellations continue by John Osterower and Joe Sterling from CNN, posted April 9, 2017. The article reads as follows. Delta Airlines, trying to get back to normal after thunderstorms wreaked havoc on flight schedules, had to scrub out 120 more flights Sunday. The operation continues to stabilize as things normalize, said Michael Thomas, a spokesman for the number two U.S. airline. Delta had canceled around 3,975 flights through Saturday after powerful midweek storms stranded and frustrated passengers during one of the busiest travel weeks of the year. Delta Chief Operating Officer Gil West called the storms that pounded Atlanta unprecedented and acknowledged the recovery effort could have been better. The severe weather battered the mid-Atlantic region and northeast, the northeastern Georgia, causing tornado-like conditions around Delta's Hub Hartsfield Jackson International Airport in Atlanta, through which 60% of its 100 of its 1,000 nearly aircraft fleet passes every day. Delta has one of the most annual track records in the airline industry. The carrier had 161 days in 2016 without cancellation or on its main operations. Several factors aggravated the recent air travel headaches, including planes packed with vacationers on spring break. The airline and travelers should be helped by the weather, as forecasts call for a mostly rain-free week in the Atlanta region, with showers expected Wednesday and Friday. Okay, so we know that this is the time for spring break, where college kids, like I used to be so long ago, go to hot places to get drunk, get rowdy, have fun, even get laid, just for a week. Now we have flight cancellations. That means, oh shit! Now, we all know it's not the kids' fault that the flights are cancelled, but still the rest will get bitchy, which, in all honesty, is completely unfair. So now playing hooky, or cutting class, they're in Orlando, stuck there with no way to get back to their school. It's a legit excuse. My students would be forgiven. It's not like they asked me to get in the airport while classes had resumed on Long Island, say? I mean, honestly. I've been lucky every time I've been in an airport and not been stuck. The worst I ever had to deal with was a five hour delay where the plane lost power and was shunted to a gate halfway across the terminal. It is a miserable thing having to wait by yourself to get your ass home. So, honestly, I can imagine how these kids are going to be stuck for days. And yes, I'm old enough to call them kids. And I've never had a flight cancelled. And y'all know me well enough that I would go batshit if I had to wait days in Orlando. My God! Well, I want to hear from you. Send me emails to bipoloropposites119 at yahoo.com for anything. Questions, comments, things you want to see on the show, everything except politics. Way, way, way too messy. But like I said, anything else. So feel free to email me anytime about anything. And I'll address you as soon as I can. Well, check out today's unscripted segment, which is loaded by now. And I'll just come back any day for more bipolar opposites, including Easter. Wow, I'm working on a holiday. What is up with that? So I wish you a good day, and stay Tim Cubbin, out.